voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. Before I begin, I would like to give you guys a trigger warning. Now, for me, a trigger warning is completely pointless. Because, you know, if I'm going to watch a show that contains nudity and, um, graph you know, violence, I don't need a trigger warning. But, um, in this case, I'm going to have to make an exception. So, trigger warning, the person that you're about to look at might actually cause you to go into severe depression. Ooh, I'm like a man, and that's like, oh, a thing. You may now unsubscribe to this channel. I'm giving you permission to do so. That is the worst intro ever. Like, I never seen such an intro that is that uncreative. Okay, here's why you can't make assumptions about gender. gender. Unnecessarily editing, editing, editing. Because people don't fit. You don't fit into what you're expecting, what you think it's supposed to be. Sorry that I don't fit your expectations, then. People are born with X, X chromosomes. Some people are born with X, Y chromosomes. You know, I think you're trying way too hard to impress people with your... I, I guess we could call it editing. Because, you know, we, we all know that what you're saying is absolute bullshit, so you try your very best to distract them. You know? Say, oh, look at all the pretty colors. You know, gender is a social construct, you know? You, you might as well jungle, you know, jingle some keys right in front of them and be like, yeah, yeah, you like that, huh? Gender is a social construct. You could be whatever the fuck you want. Potato is now a gender. Fucking asshole. There are other people born with other combinations. Uh, uh, uh well, yeah, those people have a birth defect. They're not a third gender or a fourth gender, whatever. They have a birth defect. Apparently, you know a lot more about this shit than the people who have studied this for years. You come along and shit all over them and tell them that they are absolutely wrong. And you expect me to believe that you are some sort of genius, some fucking genius. Hate to break it to you, but you feminists pretty much fuck up everything. You throw logic and facts out the window and replace it with this, your own bullshit ideologies. Other variations on that theme. What about them? What about them? Can some people are born with the thing that's like out goes out some people are born with a thing that goes like in it's called a penis and it's called a vagina it's not called a thing that goes in and a thing that goes out just say it what it is penis vagina what do you have to lose? Don't tell me that your audience gets triggered by the word penis and vagina. Because if that is your audience, then I have to say that there is literally no fucking hope for you. You deserve to be locked up in a fucking insane asylum. All right. But other people are born with other variations other than that. Again. Those what we call birth defects. It, it, it's not healthy. These are legitimately birth defects. Um, there's this guy named Top Hat and Campaign. He'll explain all the details. Links in the description. But basically, you cannot turn someone's 
disorder into a gender. What about them? What about me? Ah, there's that narcissistic behavior. What about me? Me, 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 me! I was born pretty conventionally, you know, but always felt like a princess. Well then, you are one ugly princess. I mean, ugly. You are one ugly motherfucker. Always felt like a princess. So, you reduce to princess as someone who's just wearing makeup and, you know, just put a little lipstick here, a little eyeshadow here and here, and then put a necklace and, you know, you just call yourself a princess. That's apparently how it works. So what I would recommend is be free. If you want to paint your nails and play with My Little Pony, then paint your nails and play with My Little Pony. If you want to kick a ball through a field goal. You need help. Goalpost. Then kick a ball through a goalpost. And be happy. Well, I am happy. I'm happy that I'm not you. I'm happy that I actually find you rather entertaining. Give my fans some nightmare fuel for the day. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.